All right. Final video. And this is it. I don't think I can play this again. Not because the game's bad, it's just like... That guy was probably right in the lobby that said delay is better. They were probably right. That's the more like annoying thing is doing this next code broke the game right into these patch. And they had a beta and that was after a beta. You know what I mean? That's even more bullshit. You know they had a beta for this. Granted, right, I've had more good games than bad. But It's, it's just... It really just is disappointing when even recent games have already done it better. Like I said, I'm, I don't understand the odd match, but... Oh, good stuff. Cooler, huh? Another old full team. I think I'm facing scouts too. Wow, it's having to do the same roots on him. <laughs> oh, shit. Try to do level 3, Dragon Rush came out instead. Thanks, game. Wow. Oh, nice move. It's a cool, uh, cool recover. Nice. That's good. Counter. What the fuck? The only reason I'm kind of questioning that is because there has been a couple of times where this is down and the character's not down at all, so I'm not even sure if it's registering that right. So, I don't, I don't know, man. Not only is the netcode not great, it broke the game. And this companies have done better before, which is weird. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. This took like this took like a year, like many years to kind of be a thing too. It's even more weird. Oh shit. He got it instantly attacking when he got down to the floor. Nice. Oh, nice. Ah, 
Nice. Let's get it. Oh, that's gonna kill it. Oh man. That's a lot of damage. Super sort of a lot more damage now. I got it. <laughs> nice, good move. Good move. Oh, it's an overhead, okay. <laughs> Nice! That's a pretty good face, to be fair. I blocked, but whatever. It wouldn't matter. A pretty good hit. A really good hit. I like that. Really good player. Really good stuff. Don't take that. Oh, that's a rematch. Rank up again, apparently. Good move. I was going to attack it back there. What? Take it. Oh, so quick. Oh, that was unfortunate. I think if we timed that a little bit maybe earlier, it probably would have been. Dig that. I can't get this guy. I can't get this guy at all. I think you need like really good timing for that. So I don't think it's like an overly broken thing. And it's not like and that the world also supports that is the fact that not a lot of people are using it, so it's not like it's busted. 
<laughs> for a hit somehow. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take it, but uh, think it away. There's no way he even knew I was going to do that, right? There's no way he knew that. I can't get him. I have to be free. Might always be dead. Look at that damage! I can't stop him! I can't! Wait a minute. Yes! Came out! Ah! Uh, Kill so much da uh, damage scale. Oh! Oh no! Oh wait! Yes! A lucky win! A lucky win! I'll take it, GG. Wow! I was not expected to win that. I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I'll take it. That was incredibly lucky. I'll take the win. He thought it was good. Super Dash. Zabitu's <laughs> like... Attacks generally come out pretty fast. Can't do anything about Thomas's attacks. He comes out so quickly. Yeah, yeah keep pulling into feet, but I didn't want that. Why am I getting that? Uh, 
Oh god. I didn't even know it was gonna be, dude. Fucking quit. He fucking quit the scrub. Come on. Dude. I've got the points for that. Come on, man. That was such a GG, man. Fucking scrub, he quit. Come on. Oh, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. Oh, wow. Go tanks of all things. Yeah, I think that hit just rage quit because I actually started to figure out like what he was doing and he couldn't do anything once I figured it out. I've got the points for that. Nice. Oh, 
I think she's definitely the better of the two twenty ones. But I think Lambo has the best looking level three. Yeah. yeah, I think overall twenty one's the better one, but Lab Coat twenty three has the better looking level threes. Just for like the camera positioning is awesome. And of course, no rematch. <laughs> Damn it. Rose with trunks and Goku Blue. Where's all these Goku Blue players coming from? <laughs> Let's do a twist to trunk. Oh, another back connection. I don't know why they had to change that so hard. I mean, Vegeta's assist version, baby. I don't know why Android 21 had that pose. I love that. I was on a block today. Level 3 didn't come out. Oh yeah, I don't mind the shitty fucking connection. Oh, good move! Good move! I thought he missed that. Nice, back fucking disrupted that. But I wouldn't have been able to counter it anyway, because I can never counter it. Good match though, good match. This is the same as Mark by fucking Mag, like, because this game's next. Well, right next to Coral. Probably the worst of all of them out on the market right now. And that's just weird. That really is just so weird to me. It's in Smash. It's fucking lethal. Damn it! I can't even like move, I can't do a move. <laughs> oh! Only a punch. I didn't even know there was a move, huh? I didn't do anything. What the fuck was I doing a super for? Fuck this game, yo. Even the inputs get messed up. This game is such a sorry state, dude. I didn't want that. Oh, well. I'm just getting input on my at this point. Oh, that should have really been a combo. Hey, did you see how far that traveled? Shit! 
rage is definitely up on that grab. Oh, okay. Yeah, the rage is definitely more on that grab now. I'm not sure why they had to felt the need to do, uh, like buff that. Nice. This fucking ride, dude. I can't do anything. Oh my bad. Oh my Sparky and Dragon Rush came out. Oh my god. Yeah, how did jump in a bat for two for you? <laughs> Yeah, how's that work for you? <laughs> Why did he do it again? Why do people play the game like this? It's running away like actually a legit strategy that people could use in this game? Again. Well, I did two characters, and I'll, I'll take that. But why is running away all of a sudden like a thing that people do? Weird. Oh, another Goku Instinct and another fucking fusion character. Or Jigajita Goku fusion specifically. Oh. I, mean, I don't know if it's over. I, I might have faced this guy. Finally, I'll get to actually make a hit there. The buff stun is so hard now. Couldn't tag. Oh, I don't think it was full for Tori went to tag it, so. No one's using the uh, spirit bomb to switch. Okay, I'll take that. Level one and level three. I didn't even know to do that. I didn't intend it either. Sure. Oh, damn it. I was able to block that. Oh. No punish to get Dragon Ball fight. This does make sense. Only... It probably does to a degree in the counter. Be nice. Mm 
I wish I could block so many combo strings as these guys can, but I can. Oh, good stuff. These guys can block all my combo, like attempted combo strings. I can't. Why is there different rules? If I try to block as long as these guys do, I get a hit. <laughs> Oh. oh fuck! Uh, I don't know what happened there. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god! Are you fucking for real, dude? I didn't move. Why I got punished like that, I don't know. Oh my god. I was blocking low, you saw me blocking low, dude. Damn it. So many hits out of almost nothing. Oh my god, he just ate the fucking fireball and flew at me. I swear. Ah, uh, GG. Good game. That's a good game to be fair. <sighs> I think that's the uh, last one, right? I don't know if we've got one more. No, that's it. Alright. Oh, man. Don't get me wrong, guys. I enjoyed this immensely. I did. I, I did. Don't get me wrong, but my god. This is not the same game anymore. It's really not. So much has changed about it. And I don't really necessarily think that's a bad thing. But... 
Ugh. They, they shouldn't have bothered. The netcode has... The netcode information has broken the game to ridiculous degrees, and even though most of the most serious stuff has been patched, to be fair, uh, because when I was hearing when this netcode dropped that no one could play it because there was just like characters like splattered all over the screen, you were seeing like 10 Gogetas at the screen doing the fucking t pose and shit. It was all sorts of weird stuff that was all going on, so thankfully we didn't like have any of that. So at the end of the day, that, it, it's better than it was, but it's, it's still not that great, you, you know, it's like, and I, I've said, I've said about the netcode already, the netcode is a lot to be desired, it really is, and it just makes no sense, considering these are the same company that made great netcodes for Guilty Gear and Blue and Cross Tag and other games, like, even, I think Guilty Gear XR, Rev 2 had one, I, I don't remember, but, I, I don't know, man. This is definitely the worst fucking rollback netcode I've ever experienced. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, it was only like maybe five matches in total that were really bad. Really, but you, you know, we had that one match that had seven rollback netcode and fucking 68 ping, which is fucking stupid, and it was just like unplayable. I think that that was kind of guilty gear as well, and I think what that could be is stage. Or PC specific. And there seems to be a lot of things going around these days that, it, you know, there's no benchmark testing for your PC. So if your PC is not the best, you can still play online and the opponents get fucked for it. I think Tekken really does that pretty bad. Uh, but I've never really run into that problem. So, but I, I love the game but it's not the same one I used to play. And like I said, to most degrees that's not too bad, but the, imp like the netcode implementation broke the game, so it had to be patched, and it still isn't terrific, and the netcode still is a bit hit or miss. And that's the most disappointing thing, coming from a studio that is renowned for netcodes. They still are, maybe going from a delay base to rollback probably was a lot harder because of it, putting the, I could understand, like I said, I could understand if it was putting the net, the rollback in when you already had a delay based netcode. Say, I think with Blast, with Cross Tag and Guilty Gear in particular, the rollback netcode was in from the off. The Guilty Gear Strive came out after this game. So, if it's a case of, you know, changing the way the netcode works and that presents bugs and other things that are weird, then yeah, I could probably see that. But, if that was always going to be an issue, why did you bother? Because to me, the delayed based netcode was fine. I had, a, again, a few matches that were bad, but overall I really didn't have a problem with anything. So I don't know even know why they bothered really changing it. It was probably just to bring it up to standard, but to bring it up to standard, they made the game slightly worse. Which is weird. Um, it's a lot more situational based, this game. There were a couple of different, uh, a couple of moves I did there that did different things that caught me out. So they definitely changed a lot of the game, which is not a bad thing, but it was definitely hard to get used to. But to be fair, uh, let's go back in. So I want to check if I still see. The funny thing is they have delay there as an option, which I think is a bit of a, you know. A bit of a thing to say, we don't have overall confidence in our rollback netcode, so here's the delay base to play the game. That really doesn't say to me that they were even confident this was going to work. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of like a red flag. You know, it's almost saying, admitting they don't have even like the most overall faith in the netcode, so here's the delay base to go back into the game without option. I probably would have been better off doing that. Because like I said, this netcode is just a lot to be desired. It's not the best out there. And you've already, like I said, you've already got two games on the market in Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 have done it so much better. Now, I don't know if Tekken 8 has a rollback netcode. I don't know. I'm assuming it does. Um, yeah, I'm still orange. And I should be still same two on the player card. Um, so Bree Kai actually went up. Okay. So, in, in that regard, to... Um, in that regard, I actually did really well. I actually won a lot more matches than I thought. So 
so I'll definitely take that considering when I played the beta of this game, I got destroyed. Um, but that's but that's another thing that makes me uh, about the netcode. I had a beta for this thing, and it still doesn't really work well. You know what I mean? It's it, it's like they don't have any faith in it. But like I said, I can understand if it's a case of going from delay to rollback and being harder to implement because you didn't have rollback from the off. So I understand that if that is the case. But I think even with that. It's almost like, like I said, it's almost like they didn't have any faith that it would work. And let me, don't get me wrong, like I said, really, it was a really, really five matches that were really bad. The, the, the rest of the 90% was fine, to be completely honest with you. But even when it was fine, it was still sort of jittery. There was rollback and animation loss, inputs not working, and like not coming out. And yeah, it was just like, yeah, it, it wasn't the best. But. I enjoyed the game, but I think, as of now, that's probably going to be my last session. Not because I don't enjoy it, because I do, but uh, it's probably time to move on to other things. You know, I still want to get, I want to get back into Tekken, play some matches there, uh, play some other Dragon Ball games, check out the Dragon Ball Sparking when that comes out, because I'm quite excited for that, actually. I hope Engine 21 is part of it. But yeah, that's it for this session. It's not bad, but it's still a lot to be desired, but if it went from delay to fall back in that course of problems, that I understand. Um, so I will give the benefit of doubt and probably assume that was the case. I really will hope this gets a sequel. I do. I want it to get a sequel. Because I think it would do I I think it would work with one considering now that they have all the feedback and the information on this rollback netcode, they can make a sequel put it straight in from the off and avoid all these problems that they had just putting this one in. This this took a long time to come out. This took a long time to be implemented as well. So I think with that, I think a sequel would really work in that regard as well. Because now they can take all the feedback and all the data on board and then they're in the net code from the off in the sequel. And I think it, I think like this game say it won a game of the year award the year it came out. I think it won fighting game of the year, which is thoroughly deserved because I love this game. So I think it I think it's probably time to even like at least think about a sequel. And I would take a sequel for this. It's not old enough to not be out of the sequel window like Killer Instinct was. Uh, but with Killer Instinct is a like um no oh, I ain't got see is it. It's Iron Galaxy, they're a much smaller studio uh, than Bandai Namco, for example. You know, it's, that's just how it is. You know, so I think a sequel is there, but I still think we won't be seeing it for a while yet, because obviously Bandai Namco just released Tekken 8. Uh, but I think I would like a sequel. I, I think it would actually work considering now that they have all the feedback information. So a sequel with even more characters, even more crazy stuff. Maybe fix the super dashing a little bit, make it a bit more manual, I guess, because I do see that to be a legit problem. I think Maximilian did say a lot that, you know, Super Dash was a very automatic and really, uh, really made the game um, fun for him in places, which I'd understand. You know, so give it probably a bit more manual control. I wouldn't say take it out completely, but at least, at least change it. You know, de definitely change it. Bring some more characters in, like Fidel's dad, maybe. Um, you know, bring Android, Android 21, of course, uh, a couple others. Because there's going to be a lot of characters in Dragon Ball uh, Tenkaichi. I think there's going to be a lot of characters. I didn't see the photo, and there's a big character in this. Probably ease off on the Goku's a little bit, or make a. Si and I know, I know this will be very difficult to do, but try to implement a system where they don't take. They don't, there's so much character slot taken by a, a four or five different Goku forms. Because that's the big problem with this game. There are way too many fucking forms of Goku and Vegeta and fusions of Vegeta and Goku. You know, if you count the, the fusions, there must be about ten versions of Gokus and Vegetas. They're everywhere. So scale back on that for definite. And try to implement a system where they could probably change into their same forms during the match. Maybe, but I don't see that because matches go by in an absolute blur sometimes so you wouldn't have an opportunity to change forms because the matches are so long. Uh, the matches are so short-lived, rather. So maybe that's why they couldn't do that. But if you can't do that, just don't... You know, have maybe... Say in... 
Saiyan Goku and normal Goku and just stop. You know, don't have every fucking form of Goku there is. But, yeah, that, that was my one big problem with this game. There's about 10 versions of fucking Goku when you count the fusions. It's ridiculous the amount of Gokus in this fucking game. Have Goku Black for sure. Yeah, you know, have that. But with Goku and Vegeta, there's way too many. You know, and like some characters, like I would say Raditz, you know, why is he missing? Raditz was one of those classic characters from the old days. Why is he not in this game at all? No sense. Could be canon related, really, I don't know. But yeah, definitely scale back on the Gokus uh, and put some more other characters in there that don't get up spots. Better, better netcode, now I have a little back into the off. You probably got a decent sequel. Probably changed the Super Dash a bit as well. You probably got a pretty decent platform for a sequel. I think this game has a decent platform for a sequel to be made. So I would definitely take one. That's what I'm saying. But in any case, that's pretty much it for this game. I will obviously continue to play it on and off, but I think for YouTube that's probably when I'm last for its action. And it was it went well bar a few matches. I actually won a lot more than I thought considering I was three years rusty the game, so I'll definitely take that. The game is so different too, so I had to like readjust and relearn the game to some degree. It's actually quite enjoyable. But that's it for this session. I thoroughly enjoyed it despite getting a bit kind of mad at stuff there, <laughs> but uh, it was it was all in good fun, I, I think. Uh, we got a couple of quarters, but uh, I can't be helped. I think I've still got the wins and points for that, so I'm not really going to complain about it. Anyway. I will see you for the next thing I decide to do. Obviously, from here, I'll be try I'll be hoping to play some different Dragon Ball games in the future. I was to go back to the likes of Tekken and uh, Street Fighter, where I've still got some stuff planned for the future. That game, those games. So, uh, but I think this game has had its last update with the next game. So, hopefully, like I said, it's a decent platform for the sequel. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next thing I decide to do. You know what to do. Follow, subscribe, like the videos, all that good stuff. Ring the bells. All that stuff, and I will see you next time. Snake Girls, signing off. Peace out, guys. Stay safe and stay awesome.